You may have wondered about the diet of celebrities and old-school bodybuilders, especially those who were part of the so-called, the golden era of bodybuilding, the era of the sports legend Arnold Schwarzenegger. Many bodybuilding fans love this period of the sport because it showcased a perfect combination of muscular aesthetics and size, without excesses and disproportions. One of the reasons why bodybuilders from that era had such beautiful, symmetrical, and proportional physiques lies in the diet they followed, in addition to the hours and hours of training, of course. The diet during that time was quite different from what we see today. However, it's important to clarify that dietary supplements such as protein shakes, pre-workouts, auxiliary supplements, and vitamin complexes were not easy options for athletes in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. With that being said, the diet of Arnold Schwarzenegger, Franco Columbia, Sergio Oliva, and other famous bodybuilders from that era was primarily composed of low carbohydrate content but high levels of fats and proteins. It would resemble what we now know as a ketogenic diet, but with a higher protein intake. However, the primary source of protein was red meat, particularly a lot of fatty red beef cooked rare or medium rare. For example, Sergio Oliva's daily diet consisted of 4 kilograms of fatty red beef, along with small portions of rice and lentils. This combination resulted in approximately 800 g of protein per day. Besides red meat, another food item in their diet was eggs, many eggs per day, including both the egg white and yolk without separation. Another item that was always present on their table was cheese. They consumed a significant amount of cheese, including different types. However, a type of food that was not popular among bodybuilders of that era was vegetables and fruits. They didn't bother eating broccoli, carrots, or fruits in general. But one thing that few people in that era associated with their training gains, which contributed to their hypertrophy, was the presence of a very common supplement today in the red meat they consumed. It was precisely the presence of creatine, which athletes only consumed naturally from its primary source, the red meat. Creatine was discovered in 1832 by the French scientist Michel Eugène Chevreul while analyzing animal tissues. This substance was found to be a source of energy for the human body and could be used to enhance the physical performance of athletes. From there, the supplementation of this type of substance began. However, the commercialization of creatine for use by athletes in various sports and bodybuilders only became more widespread in the United States starting in the 90s. Today, we know that red meat contains approximately 0.4 g of creatine per 100 grams of meat. So, if we consider that Sergio Oliva consumed 4 kilograms of red meat daily, he would ingest about 4 g of creatine per day. In other words, he supplemented with creatine naturally. This amount already significantly aids in supplementing the energy our bodies often require. Creatine supplements promote muscle mass growth and maintain energy levels by enhancing performance and increasing strength during exercise. That's why creatine is recommended for those seeking muscle hypertrophy and is widely used nowadays in the world of bodybuilding by both professional and amateur bodybuilders. The physiques of bodybuilders from the golden era were quite different from those of today's athletes. Many fans even find them more beautiful and aesthetically pleasing. It is true that the diet in past decades made a difference, but we now know that other factors contributing to these differences lie in the various supplements and steroids readily available to all professional and amateur bodybuilding practitioners today. Share your opinion on the golden era diet in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.